Hey everybody, what's going on? Sean here with Zero to Income and I uh, want to go in here and talk a little bit about customizing courses in System.io. Okay, so you're a System.io user, you've got a course that you've created and you're really wanting to uh, customize how it looks to your end users. Okay, something to keep in mind here and that is with any platform that you use, there's going to be some strengths and some weaknesses. There's going to be limitations. You're playing in that platform sandbox. And so you've got to kind of realize that um, you, you, you just got to work with what it gives you. All right. That being said, there still is a lot you can do with system.io. I just wanted to kind of give you that caveat. And so I um, had a question that came up in Facebook and one of my colleagues, Gloria Hester, uh, you can go over and check out her stuff at GloriaHester.com. She said, hey, Sean, can you answer this? And, and somebody was asking, um, hey, how do I customize this, this look on my site? And, and here, let's go over and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we're, we're in the student dashboard in System.io. Now, I'm actually logged into System.io. So uh, this is what you would see as a logged in user in System.io, okay? So, and here you've got your dashboard. And if you go back to, we're in our main dashboard. And if you go over here to your student dashboard, at this point, you're going to see uh, your different courses that you are enrolled in. And if you're not enrolled in any, you're going to automatically go into the explore option. But the question is, you know, how do you customize what this looks like? And there's really not a lot here that you can customize. This little blue icon here is the default icon if you don't have any image for your course uh, title, okay, or course image, all right, uh, and and you can change that. Um, but the question I get really is, you know, how much of this can you customize? And really, uh, the key to figuring all this out is just to go and play with it, all right? So how am I going to attack this? How, how do I attack answering this question? The glory was like, hey, can you help? And uh, it's like, well, let me, let me do some research and organize my thoughts and organize a video. And, and that, of course, is what I'm doing here. And um, kind of, I figured while I'm doing this, show you all how I prepare and organize for all this. So the key here is, you know, we're here right now in this account as the administrator, as the owner of the course. And we want to know, what does it look like as a student? So I think the best way of figuring that out is to go set up a student account that's for ourselves in a different username and play with it and see, hey, log in as a student, what does that look like? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my main dashboard. I'm going to go into my assets. Courses are under assets now. This is a relatively new change because they added a new file deal, which is, that's a whole nother video. That's files. They now have a file section. That's just awesome. All right. Super, super awesome. All right. So we're going to go to courses. We're going to click into the Tech Women Academy, this course that I've got set up. And right here, we got an add student. So let's go ahead and add student. We're going to call this student Egbert Peabody, my childhood alter ego here. And we'll do an email. And we're going to give Egbert Peabody full access. And we're going to just click on save. So now, that email that I just put in, there's going to be an email that arises to say you've just been added to a course. All right. Pop this open. And here it is. This is just a standard email that system.io is going to send you or send all the users uh, that, that, you know, when they, when they are granted access to a course, you can't edit this email. This is, again, just a standard default email. All right. So what it does, it gives them the username, which they signed up for, unless, you know, you did it manually like we just did. And then it gives them a login to go and get set up. So here we are. Set your password. All right. So we'll go ahead and do our all of our information. And then you can just go ahead and set up a password, which I will do now. Okay. And now once you've got your password in there, you just go ahead and click on confirm. Okay. And now we're in. Now, again, like I told you, here's what we're looking at. I'm now the user. Okay. And the administrator, the owner of the course hasn't put an image. So there's nothing here. Now, keep in mind here that if you don't also have your favicon or favicon in here, um, 
it's not going to show up either. It's just going to be the system default. But notice also here this dark blue. There's I, there's not a whole lot you can do to here to change this. You know, we'll play with it and see. But I'm you know 95 percent sure that there's nothing that we can do with this blue uh, color here. That again is a system.io default. So on this particular part here, where we're looking at en enrollments, and if we go to again to explore, let's see what happens. Okay, there's nothing to explore on here. Um, it's just this image that we can change, okay? And this is where you would go into Canva. You'd want to make it a 16 by 9, all right? That's what system.io recommends. Uh, and, and you create an image, and then you can pop it in here, all right? So we now have our, um, what's the one I'm looking for? Our enrollments. So this is what it would look like when I'm going to log in, okay? So actually, this right here is the address that you want to copy and use for your login menu right here, all right? So uh, anytime that they click on login, they'll become, they'll brought right to here, okay? And so that's how uh, you're gonna wanna do this. Now, another option you could do, and I know this is kind of going off script here a little bit, uh, is you could go in and do a redirect. I, uh, Dana and I use Cloudflare, all right? Um, for all of our DNS settings. And now I actually use it for all my DNS. Uh, I also use it for you know, my domains. I actually purchased my domains there because it's the they got the best prices anywhere. So I'm already using it for my DNS. Why not just go ahead and purchase my domains there as well, uh, especially when the, the price is beats everybody else. So, um, but we use Cloudflare and you can do a redirect. All right. And so we could go to a redirect that says techgremlinwarrior forward slash dash uh, techgremlinwarrior.com forward slash my course or courses and have that redirect go to here. And so uh, you can easily share that link with people if they're saying, hey, how do I get to my course? Oh, techcrimmonwarrior.com forward slash courses. Oh, okay. You know, and that's how you would do it uh, as a, a redirect. Okay, so we're, we're at our login page. We can log in. Um, I can actually log in right now with um, my stuff, okay? And again, this is a completely different browser window. We log in, and we're going to get to the same thing that we had before, okay? We got this default um, picture, okay? And and again, this is all we can customize, all right? It's going to be the picture, and then if you haven't done it already, you can also change that. That's it. Now, how do you do that is the question. All right, so let's move all this over, and I'm going to go back. Um going to go out of here and I'm now back to my admin dashboard. I'm now back to me as the course owner. All right. I'm, I'm taking off my hats and putting on a different hat here. I'm putting on my course owner hat. Right. And now what we want to do is we want to go in to courses and we want to go in to settings for the Tech Gremlin Academy. If I had other courses, they would be listed under here and I want to go into settings. Okay. We're going to click on the three dots over here to the right and we're gonna go to settings okay once in settings all right we can put a description if we wanted to the structure name i didn't worry about any of that uh, again here's uh, the url path uh, if you have your custom domain which we do connected it, it'll be in here in the course domain if you haven't connected your domain yet it's going to be the default uh, system.io domain that's set up automatically for you when you set up your system.io account okay um, but we got this going to techgremlinwarrior.com, as you can see, um, from the all the other stuff that we were doing earlier. All right. And then right here, course cover. This course cover is this thing right here. All right. So let's go ahead and click on upload. Now, before you upload, look right here. This, this, I love it when... Um, systems do this. Okay. I love it when applications do this, where wherever there's an image that needs to be... Uh, installed or I'm sorry, whenever there's an image that needs to be added, I love it when they tell you the size. All right. Uh, right here, the logo doesn't tell you the size. Now they do have a little question mark here. We click on it. Nothing's there. So you have no idea what the dimensions should be here for this. Um, I, I just, uh, I'm just a firm believer and uh, best practices to, to have the image um, ratio image dimensions right there. That way they know. 
There's no guessing. Uh, I, I can't tell you how many times in a Facebook group I see, "Hey, what's the best image size?" Yeah, good question. Why don't they? Why don't? Why don't people do that? You know, why don't uh, uh, platforms just tell you wherever wherever an image needs to be uploaded, the best dimensions that you should use? You know, and and maybe if there's not a very uh, best dimensions, maybe it's just um, it's just a note various dimensions, you know, work or something like that. Um, but here like this aspect ratio is one to one. So this is letting you know that it needs to be a square. All right. One to one, uh, that's a square. The same here. Um, I'm pretty sure with the logo best way, uh, the best one is a, um, a square as well. But you know, again, that's something you'd want to play with since they don't tell you. Uh, but let's go here and we're going to click on upload. I'm going to go into downloads and I created this in, uh, Canva. And uh, it is supposed to be a 16 by 9, all right? So we've done that, and that looks fine. We're going to click to upload. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on Save, okay? Now we're going to pull this back over, and we're going to do a refresh. And there it is, okay? So as far as customizing this, um, we could try and see there, there's some, some theme colors you can do here that, you know, I'll show you here in a minute. Um, and you can try and see if that'll work here, but I don't think it will. Um, let me go back down here and just see, we do have some embedded, uh, CSS that you could try and play with here. Um, but I don't think that's going to even work. And then, uh, let me go down in here. I'm not seeing any other like settings for, uh, colors and things like that in here. So let me just do a save. Okay. Let me go back to courses and yeah, not really seeing too much more in there. All right. So once that is done, I talked about the theme settings and that is that kind of controls inside the course and, and yeah, that then, you know, other than just this, uh, favicon here, uh, you, it will allow you to change this bar color. Let me show you what I'm talking about. When you go into it, we're going to click on open. Okay. See, see, I was able to, to change the colors and add different, um, theme colors here. And let me show you how to do that. So when we go into this course, Okay. Now we're in the actual course and right here, view and customize the theme. Okay. So now we're in our theme and we can go right in here and edit theme settings. Okay. Click on edit theme settings and right in here, see this, look at this. You can go in here and we can change all of these different settings here for um, call to actions, um, for the content background, which is, looks to me almost like this color here is this color here. Um, so you can go really, you can really go deep in here, uh, header background. So there's this, this header background color up here. All right. And then the header text color, we could change that if we wanted to, it's white. All right. And change everything you want right now. We've got theme settings and it's set to green. All right. And you've got these different kind of default, if you will, theme colors. Okay. Um, so let's just click on save theme settings. And again, let's just go and do a refresh. And what I want to do is go back and see, we're back to that default, uh, system.io blue. All right. And so that's what I'm saying here is it doesn't look like there's much that we can change with the actual kind of, uh, initial, uh, page that you land on that has your enrollments. And so now we've got that customized and we've got the inside of the course customized. And, and again, once you go in there, um, as far as like beautifying or changing how everything in here looks, uh, this is like any other editor in system.io and just like any system.io page, you can go in there and do anything else you want. And when you do this area in here is what's going to be, uh, edited. And again, you can get in there and, you know, beautify it and make it your own. You could put, you know, again, a text Kremlin warrior 
logo here or your logo here. Um, you could put a title here. Um, and, and that's where you could, as far as branding, you could do further branding uh, for your course content. All right. So hopefully that's helpful. If you're liking these videos, we have a whole playlist on system.io. You can check that out. Uh, Dan and I, we are affiliates for system.io. All that information is going to be in the description, uh, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching everybody.